Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is World War II Man. I know I've been away, and for that I apologize. So, now I am coming to you with a video on the beautiful M1 Grand Rifle. This topic of the video is about the infamous M1 Grand Thumb. Chances are, if you've owned an M1 Rifle, you have had the M1 Thumb. This video is going to cover what the causes are, and how to prevent it. Now, the gun has already been safety checked, as you can already tell. There's no, there's no clip in there, and there are no rounds in the chamber. Now what I'm going to do, you see how the bolt is not resting on anything. It's not resting on the follower. So that means it's been pulled back all the way. I'm going to go ahead and push down as hard as I can, as many times as I want and it's not gonna budge nothing happens so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the gun give me a few seconds to do that so the guns now closed Sorry about that. Hard to do with one hand, so I do it two. Now, the most common cause for the M1 Grand Thumb is right here. You see the bolts resting on the follower? I'm not going to put my finger in there because that's going to hurt like a. You know what? So, what I'm going to do, just a little bit of pressure on the follower, just a little bit, and that's your thumb. So, Lesson of the day, make sure that you pull it to a hard stop. 